Good evening, Hackology, and welcome to tonight's episode. Tonight's episode, we're going to be looking at a script that's been sent in by a user called Advanced Newbie. He basically sent me some code um, a few weeks ago saying, you should really look at this, this is quite cool. So I looked at it and went, wow, that's quite cool. Um, but we modified it, we made it better, we made it a little bit more robust than what it was. Um, so over the last few nights, we've been emailing one another and, and trying to get this code together. Um, get it ready for you guys. So, um, what do you need? You need curl, you need a uh, YouTube downloader, uh, which is YouTube DL, um, and you will need our script, and you will also need Python. And I'm running this on my Debian server, so I'm gonna start the screen capture now and show you guys exactly how it works. Okay, Hackology, so um, I'm just going to take you through the usage of the script and what you need to do to start with. The first thing you need to do is go into your home folder, create a directory, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, call it YouTube Downloads or something. Then inside that folder, create another folder called Downloads and place the script inside that folder. The next thing you'll need to do is go into the script and edit the script. And if you go right up to the top of the script, but then one of the very first lines is this download path, home SDB and Hackology downloads. And remember to put the forward stroke at the end. So basically you edit that path, uh, save the script, quit out, and then you can call the you can call the script by issuing the command Python, the name of the script, which in my case is called hackology downloader.py space and then the name of the channel that you'd like to download. So I am going to choose a different channel because I think I've already done an episode of Hackology. I'm going to try an episode of Iron Geek. Iron Geek. So basically what the script does is it queries the channel, looks at the feed, um, downloads it, gets the first video URL, compares that with the one stored on the computer if you've previously downloaded a video um, using the video downloader. Um, if not, I'll just download the video straight away and save it into a new folder under your da specified downloads folder, the one that we edited in the script just. So, um, what this allows you to do is you can set up a cron job uh, for all your favorite YouTube channels um, so as soon as their videos come out, rather than having to watch them on YouTube, you can stream them down onto your, well, you can download them straight onto your server and watch them in high definition um, at your own pleasure at some later day. And then clear the files up when you're done with them. Um, the script's really cool. It's really good fun. And uh, if you uh, you know need to keep up to date with what's going on on the YouTube's. Uh, this one's the one for you. I think uh, there'll be quite a few channels that will like this uh, script. So download it. Um, usage is very, very easy. Just call the script with the channel that you'd like to um, download. And if we just CD into Iron Geek now, um, CD into the downloads, so CD downloads, and then LS, and then we've got Hackology. So if we go CD Hackology, and LS inside of there, you can see the last episode of Hackology was the IRC encryption one that we did using Fishlim. It saved that video inside of there, and then if I just cap the latest video out to the screen, you'll see that inside that file, it's, um, it doesn't make it very clean. Let's just do that. Um, let's just do this. So um, yeah, you can just see that the URL um, has been saved inside that text file, and that's all that's stored inside there. Um, you've been watching Hackology. I really hope you've enjoyed tonight's video. Um, have fun hacking as always. Thanks again. Big shout out to Advanced Newbie. Cheers for the script. Really, really cool. And um, yeah, awesome. Have fun hacking. See you soon. Okay, so just a really quick note to end on. 
Um, big thanks to Advanced Newbie. Go check his website out. He's currently working on some great open source software um, and hardware for um, hydroponics and management of growing vegetables and things like that. Um, so, uh, and also, here's a really, really good tip. If you're editing um, Python files in Bash using Nano, make sure you go into the .bash RC file in your home folder and add the following lines. Set, space, tab space, space to four. Okay, so put it on uh, set tab space four. And then also, on the next line down, you want a variable that says set tab spaces. Um, basically, what this will do is it will stop Nano from ever putting a tab into a document file, which is really good if you're programming Python. You've been watching Hackology. We'll be back really soon. Peace.